Now, the war is having an impact on local businesses and the people who work there. Juan Columbus Deli has been selling foods from across Eastern Europe for years. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills joining us now with more from a store employee who says the past few days at that deli, they've been receiving threats, Lindsay. Yeah, that's what they told me. And Diana Deli near Worthington, it's near the Worthington line. It's run and managed by two people. One is from Ukraine and the other is from Russia. They sell food and treats from all across Eastern Europe, not just Russia. They say they're devastated by what's happening right now in Ukraine. We're just here to sell food. Inside Diana Deli. One of the treats you can find from Ukraine, this chocolate made in Kiev. We sell products from all over the uh, Eastern Europe, mostly from Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, also Germany, Austria, all places like that. Andrew Worth works at the deli. He was planning on teaching English in Ukraine this fall. He's able to help translate for both of his bosses. One is from Ukraine, one is from Russia. Worth says they've been getting threats since Russia invaded Ukraine. People call in and threaten the store. They were asking like which car in the parking lot was ours, describing the cars in the parking lot, like asking if people stay the night, implying that they were going to smash the windows and things, just asking about our support in the war and asking us questions about why Vladimir Putin is doing things as if we had any part in it. He says it's upsetting for him because he has friends in Ukraine and he's worried about them. Some of them I haven't heard from since the war started. He wants people to know there is no room for hate. It's awful and it needs to stop. And Diana Deli has been in, in Columbus since 2014. And for ways to support the people in Ukraine, we have more information inside this story at 10tv.com. In studio, Lindsay Mills, 10TV News.